Hello, I'm John Holmes, CEO and co-founder of Michelson Diagnostics, developer and manufacturer of the VivoSite OCT Skin Imaging System. In this talk, I'm going to explain how you can use OCT to image and monitor the response of skin after microneedle array patch removal. So first we can look at the, uh, the holes or pores left by the microneedle array post removal. So this uh, image which is obtained, produced by the Viva site, uh, shows the surface topography of the, uh, the skin and, and you can see the individual uh, pores left by the, by the microneedles. And then when we repeated the scan uh, 21 hours later, uh, they're still there but they're a lot there's a, there are, they've really subsided um, in, uh, in depth. And we can look at the images, of course, we can look at subsurface. So immediately after removal, uh, you can see that the, uh, uh, the, the uh, pores, uh, the, the microneedles have left holes into the, in the skin. We can measure the depth of those. We look at that from the top view and the, 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 uh, and the side view. 21 hours after the MAP has been removed, those, those pores have disappeared virtually. There's just tiny little indentations left. We can still see areas of fluid, pools of fluid in the dermis below where the microneedles were originally penetrated. And this uh, image here, uh, is a 3D rendering of the uh, image stack uh, 21 hours after after the uh, patch is removed. You can see these dark patches are, are areas of fluid within the within the dermis. And uh, in a moment, it'll it'll actually show you how we can also see that from a top-down perspective. So you can see that the top surface. There we go. And there are those areas of fluid. Uh, in deep in the dermis. There we go. But then on the surface, just a little dimples. So VivaSite OCT also has a capability to image blood vessels. Uh, this is an actual screenshot of the, uh, of the um, machine display. Uh, after capturing uh, an image of some tissue, which has uh, had some uh, patch removed and there is some erythema. Now uh, we get a, uh, a, a, we can see all of the vessels, the map of the vessels and importantly we can also get measurements of the depth of the uh, active plexus, in this case uh, 241 microns, just, just under a quarter of a millimetre down. The diameter of the vessels, um, the most common diameter is 57 microns and the density, 40%. So it's, it's quite a lot of, um, of, of, of tissue is comprised of active vessels at this depth. And that, these data comes up straight away. So we can actually do this at several time points. In this particular example, we've got some skin uh, that has been scanned prior to insertion of the MAP and you can just see uh, some some vessels uh, and the measurements by OCT showed that the plexus was at 430 microns deep, vessel diameter was 36 microns, and the density was quite low at 9%. And that's that's typical of uh, healthy normal skin uh, on the uh, on the limbs where this was performed. But then a, mat, a microneedle array patch was applied for uh, an hour and then removed and then uh, the, uh, the result was then scanned and you can see there's an immediate erythema response and uh, we got um, these measurements which I've already uh, explained. So this showed that this uh, erythema, this removal of patch, like microneedle array patch, active, resulted in an activation of a lot of shallow vessels and resulted in the vessels dilating at a much higher density. And of course, you can see that in the, in the pink of the skin, but we can quantify these numbers very, very precisely. 
and uh, we can also uh, see that uh, we can actually create a sort of little video that shows the response so this is immediately after application not minutes so a lot of vessels activated and then uh, within about 10 or 15 minutes it's died away and, and uh, the, the, a lot of the vessels have deactivated the vessels have shrunk so this is a very powerful way to uh, measure the tissue response uh, post removal uh, this may all affect of course the the delivery of the drug uh, so very very important and there are some here are some charts so we we did repeated scans over a 60 minute period and you can see that from a peak uh, uh, for 30 to 40 percent immediately after patch removal it took about uh, 20 25 minutes to return to a stable uh, 10 percent likewise the vessel diameter uh, started off at 75 microns in this case and then subsided to a more normal level in the mid 40s after about 25 minutes and likewise the depth so these shallow vessels that were activated um, deactivated over that period of time so this this series of charts has given us an insight into the inflammatory response uh, post removal of the patch Uh, we also have with the Viva site uh, a, a, an additional software tool which we call Vivo Tools, and this analysis software can be used to analyze previously captured data and extract numerous further parameters. So, for example, the, the surface roughness of the skin uh, to a very high precision RA and RZ. We can extract a, a chart of the vascular density versus depth. So in this particular case, uh, we see a difference of the two uh, of this uh, response between uh, 19th of February control and 14th of May in a, in a treatment regime. We can also, it also extracts numerous other parameters such as the epidermal thickness um, the variation of that thickness and the contrast of the epidermis, all of which are parameters that might be affected along with the surface reflectivity ratio and attenuation coefficient. Now, if you're using an MAP to repeatedly deliver a drug, uh, for example, if they're using, if the patient is expected to apply the MAP on a daily or weekly basis, it's likely that the skin will respond over time and you'll get thickening of the epidermis you might get changes in the collagen content all of which could be monitored and picked up uh, with this uh, powerful uh, processing software and OCT so a very very useful way to actually monitor the response of the skin post uh, MAP removal so in summary uh, VivaSight OCT gives you a very powerful tool for measuring, for visualizing and monitoring uh, MAPs, ex vivo, in vivo and post removal. It can be used to measure the penetration depth, the swelling and dissolution behavior, the inflammatory response of the skin, and details like the vascular plexus depth, the vessels, the skin recovery, uh, and this is all very, very useful information to enable you to optimize MAP design for your application uh, for the very best results uh, for your, your clinical studies. And thank you for listening.